Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy V. Last time we defeated Gilgamesh, kinda sorta, and Gilgamesh also defeated Necrophobia. Either way, we stole two items from him, both Genji armor and the Genji shield, and we made our way through most of what is left of the final dungeon. But in between episodes, I came back to this chest that I overshot last time uh, for a particular reason. I needed to do some healing, some saving, and some setting up before we were able to open it. First thing, we have Dragoon Lances and Coral Rings. We're going to need those. Uh, you just have Guardian Knife, Wizard Rod, everyone's got Coral Rings. You are a Dragoon now with Dragoon Lances, Genji equipment. Genji gear is better than the uh, Crystal Armor, but not by much, but it's there, sure. And as far as abilities go, you have X-Fight, Double-Handed, um, X-Magic is a good idea. White Magic is also a good idea, depending on how you want to do things. Summon and Blue Magic, you're... Actually, do I really want all that X-Magic on you? Sure, I, I could see it being useful. That's fine. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all for the setup. So let's open the chest. Monster in a box. Hello, Shinryu! And if you do not come in here with coral rings, game over. Yeah. Oddly enough, you actually want to uh, defend that first one, and we want to do X magic here. So we want to start with uh, life, and then quick. If not, we would have done haste two and then quick. So there's that, and so we're going to do X magic again for one of our turns. We're going to cure to you because we don't have anything better to do, and then haste to. There we go, and combine. Now, depending on how you're going to do this, I'm going to go for the difficult way first this time, and then we'll go for the easy way after the fact. So jump in the air. Thunder, we are going to be weak to because of the coral rings, which is unfortunate, which means death. Uh, you can do roulette as well as a number of other things. I really wish you didn't do that. I've got to try and dispel that. I don't have dispel. I don't have high level white magic. That's going to make this fight a lot more difficult. Um, you know what? I've changed my mind. We're going to do this the easy way because he's fighting me on this. If he didn't get Mighty Guard up, then I was going to do it the hard way. But let's uh, let's do it the easy way first. Uh, potion and Phoenix down. Let's get you back first. Then let's do a different combination, one we haven't done before. Uh, Dragon Fang and Eye Drop. Use that on you for Dark Side, guaranteed hit of darkness. Thank you for missing. Uh, sure, you can X fight. I'm going to fast forward through that because that's going to take forever. The jump, X magic. We're going to set up Golem for a moment. And what else do I need to do here? Can I heal? Well, I guess, sure. The important thing is getting uh, Gollum up here, because once Gollum's up, we should be alright. As long as I can get to Dimension... Quick! There we go. That just gives me time. I know I'm not going to uh, get in trouble here. Uh, so the other one we want to do is Turtle Shell and Holy Water Revivify. There we go. Which does Bacchus Wine. He is susceptible to this. I am not cheesy. I'm not using the Kiss of Bless Blessing Glitch. He is Shinryu. Level 97. 55,000 HP. He absorbs holy. You can inflict him with darkness. Berserk, which I just did there. Mute and slow. You can steal a rare dragon whisker, which is a, I think it's a whip or something like that. It's got a 92 attack, 50% chance to paralyze magical beasts, double damage to dragons. Doesn't matter. This is the last dragon we're really going to fight, save for one more normal enemy, and we don't need a whip for it. Uh, let's see. The other thing we want to do is we want to do Turtle Shell Antidote on you, 
and that will lower his defense. Which, now that he's... or it won't work because he's, uh... Because he's got, um, whatever that is on there, which I can't actually get off of him now. But, uh, yeah, he's susceptible to Berserk, so now all he can do is normally attack me, and I have Gollum to take care of that. So, we can just pretty much do whatever we want to finish off the rest of the fight. This is one of the game's super bosses, and he can be, as you could see by the amount of damage he was doing, really difficult to kill. Well, even more difficult to survive. But, uh, yeah, not so easy when you cheese it. Now, if he doesn't use Mighty Guard, uh, then we can actually use uh, a very similar strategy without cheesing it and just basically do lots of damage. But anyway, for defeating him, we gain access to the Dragon Crest. It's another one of those congratulations, you beat a super boss items that doesn't do anything. But I'm going to go fight him one more time and let's see if we can do it the hard way this time. Oh yeah, for defeating him we get Ragnarok, it's a Knight Sword, it's got 140 attack power. Uh, it's the second most powerful battle power base, or like, second highest battle power on a weapon, save for the Brave Blade if it's maxed out at 150 uh, in the game. It's still not going to deal as much damage as the Chicken Knife, because the Chicken Knife is influenced by strength and agility. Meanwhile, a Knight Sword is just influenced by strength. Okay, take two here. Now, the reason why I guard with Bartz on the first turn is I find he tends to counter attack a lot. Alright, so, first things first, set up Gollum, and what else do I want to set up in this battle? I don't think anything, actually. I can't inflict slow on him with anything I have here, so... Yeah, I'd like to use some blue magic as well, but uh, I won't be able to do that. We do want to set up Gollum in case he decides to use a normal attack, which I believe he can do. But uh, more importantly, X magic and quick and haste too. So we got quick going and haste too, so everyone's got haste on. There we go. Now combine Dragon Fang. Potion. And got Dragon Fang and Potion again. And basically, we can outright uh, kill the boss this way. Now, the Dragon Lances, or the Dragoon Lances, will deal double damage to him because he's a Dragon type enemy. And uh, we do quite a bit of damage because uh, we crit every single time. Uh, it's better than pretty much anything else you can use. He does like to use a number of different abilities. Wow. Um, just summon, reestablish Gollum. Thank you. And Dimension. So there's Quick. As you can see, this guy, I don't think he's as difficult as Omega, because Omega's got more attacks that can just annihilate you. Uh, so let's get another one of those on you. And then I also want to get uh, that turtle shell and antidote combination to lower your defense. And that's pretty much the fight. Uh, but yeah, he is beatable by a few different methods. Um, if you haven't stolen those items, it's easier to you or the, the Dragoon Lances. It's a lot easier to kill him uh, the other way. Uh, do note that you can steal from him. Oh yeah, I didn't already note that. And you get the uh, Ragnarok for defeating him. And the Dragon Crest. Neither of which we're going to use. Alright, so I'm going to backtrack up to the save point, rearrange my job classes, and we're going to show off uh, some of the remaining enemies we can encounter around here. Okay, we do have uh, one of the new enemies we ha uh, around here. And that would be Belphegor, this guy. Let's see here. Yeah, these, those things are supposed to be hard to hit, the one that says thing, the crystal ones, but... I don't seem to have any trouble hitting them, so I don't know what the uh, the wiki is talking about, but then again, I never do. Uh, let's see, summon something against them. Silvera, sure. Uh, Belfagor is on the other page. Let's see here. Uh, level 55, susceptible to level 5 death, if you want to do that. Um, uh, fine. Uh, let's see, 6,000 HP, absorbs Earth, immune to mini, 
nothing else too much to note about that. Uh, there should be two more enemies left to show off around here. Uh, so I would like to show those off before we move on. Let's just fast forward through X fight since it takes forever. But yeah, those things have like three HP. I don't know why they're there. Ah, there he is, the Crystal Dragon. Crystal Dragon, level 62, 17,500 HP. Absorbs fire, ice, lightning, wind, immune to gravity, toad, mini, stone, zombie, dark. This is the guy you can steal dragon lances from if you want. He's also dragon type, which is why I did so much damage with uh, Bart's there. Actually, no, he doesn't have that on there. Never mind. I was going to equip them on him specifically for this fight, but... Oh. Well, that was unfortunate. Let's see if we can show that battle again where he doesn't just die right away. Ah, there we go. Yeah, he has a number of reasonably powerful attacks. It's just uh, a little bit of healing there. And now you can finish up the rest of them. Yeah, Crystal Dragons are pretty powerful. You can steal that Dragoon Lance. I think it's a rare steal from them, so don't expect it to uh, happen too, too often. Um, what do I want to do here? don't know what else I want to use. I'm just so used to using X-Fight and spamming through, you know, all these fights. He's got a lot of HP, so you have to be kind of aware of what you're uh, dealing to him there. We'll just mine that, sure. He's a normal attack against this guy. Meteo's got such a random range of damage that even uh, characters are not particularly powerful with them. Don't struggle too much. Uh, let's heal. But yeah, this guy can be pretty dangerous, as you can see, so that's why I chose to do my work earlier on. White wind, and finish off for the next fight. Should be good to go. That leaves one more enemy left, and of course, there's a bunch of notes on that one, so let's go find that guy. I think this guy also has a chance of dropping something. No, I didn't note it. I think it's crystal armor? Yeah, there you go. Maybe it's a higher chance than I thought, or maybe it just happens on the first encounter? I don't know. Anyway, I'll show you the last new enemy here in a sec. There we go, Movers, the last of the new enemies. Uh, one thing of note that you may not know. First of all, um, you have to basically, well, you don't have to kill them all at once, but I would recommend trying to, uh, because they can be rather annoying at times. So you wanna deal as much damage as possible. Little known fact, they are undead. Requiem doesn't deal as much damage as the uh, online, uh, or the wiki was saying. They were saying 5,000 plus, but it uh, doesn't really do that. Yeah, if you try and uh, do something and then they move, like you notice they just rearrange themselves there, um, then it doesn't, like it'll just cancel out your spell. Unless you use something like Meteo, which is multi-targeting and hits random enemies, but that's something that targets everything, like a summon, or in this case, uh, Sing, for whatever reason, it loses its target. But anyway, these guys are level 52. They have 10,000 HP. They're weak to fire. They absorb poison. Uh, they're immune to death, stone, uh, toad, mini, zombie, gravity. And yes, like I said, they are undead. Uh, Phoenix will probably do more damage, maybe. Let's see. Oh yeah, does. There we go. And the one of the things to note about these guys is 50,000 gil per mover and almost 200 ability points when you fight them. And we just mastered the mime drop class with two people. And they you can steal different uh, elemental scrolls and they drops one as well. But anyway, there is a glitch in the Game Boy Advance version because in the Game Boy Advance version, and I think maybe some of the later versions as well, there is a, um, a quick save feature. If you quick save, and you can quick save anywhere, you quick save, and in this area, this is the final floor with the save point, and then run into battles, it'll, as far as I understand, it'll always be the second battle will always be with movers, or movers or whatever you want to call them. So you can farm them rather easily and get huge amounts of ability points this way. Uh, these guys also show up in Final Fantasy VII, uh, I believe Final Fantasy IX, 
uh, and they've always given huge amounts of ability points. Very useful to fight, so I uh, just figured I'd note that for now. So I'm going to do the last of my uh, setup here, and we will head on toward the final encounter, because we're pretty much done with this floor. Okay, we're back. So let's just run on up here, and this will be the final teleporter pad. If we come all the way up here, X-Death, at last. Well, that doesn't sound good. Well, that's not good. We took too long. The power of the void. Aren't you technically in the void? I have no idea anymore. And, oh, hello, it's a tree. It's like the same effect uh, from uh, Final Fantasy VII in the, the Geek Cave. Going to destroy you fools first. Everyone's gonna get sucked into the void. Yeah, I'm not sure if that was translated wrong or I just read it wrong, but I, I tried to reread that like three times after I said it. It's like, that doesn't make sense because he's gonna try and kill everybody else and make us watch and then he's gonna kill us. I must have just misread it. I don't know. My brain don't work half the time anyway. No! The chocobos and the pirates and the, the really cool music. It's all gone. Yeah, I'm kind of an evil person. The thing I miss most about that is probably the music. <laughs> oh, well. What can you do, right? Well, I guess we're gonna head into the void too, and I guess this is game over. We lose! We screwed up. Game was on a timer the whole time, nobody told me. I took too long to get here, and well, that's it. Apparently the void's like outer space. We all okay? Hello? What have we here? Old Dorgan himself. Was it Kelga, I think, and Zaza? Kelgar, Zaza, close enough. And the old goofball himself. Galif is back. The four warriors of dawn. And now, have the next generation. Four warriors of light, the four warriors of the crystal, whatever you want to call them. Yeah, of the crystal. Only we can save the world from the power of darkness. With a little help from dead people. Dead people seem to do a lot in this game. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, they uh, back off the power of the void so that we can survive. Take this! Um, I don't ask me. I have no idea how Lena's father all of a sudden, and Ferris's father, all of a sudden has all this power as a dead ghost thingy. Or maybe they're all doing it. I don't know. Now is the time. Defeat X Death! Well, we could defeat XF, but we can actually go back and save now, and I would recommend you do that just so that you don't have to watch the cutscene all over again in case you fail at this boss. Uh, there's also one other thing I'd like to go over really quick. And of course, that's going to be my setup for the final battle here. Um, don't go too much further there. Anyway, so our job classes are going to remain the same. Uh, I will take a second run at the final boss without the normal or the mimic job classes, but uh, I'll just have to use some uh, some different abilities. But for the most part, it's kind of 
exactly what you would expect. You know, we have access to X Fight anyway, so I'm gonna use it. Guild Toss will be useful. The final boss has lots of parts. Uh, white Magic Dimension combined, all are going to be useful. Uh, summon, Blue, X Magic, X Fight, Ribbon, uh, item so that a couple people have it. And my equipment is pretty much what you would expect. Uh, Ragnarok is powerful, so I might as well use it. Uh, Excalibur or Dragoon Lance, whatever you want to throw on there. Ribbons are really good, especially because Final Boss uses a number of status effects. Uh, guard Rings are really good. They're always nice. Uh, Sage of Staff to boost the power of Holy in case I want to use that. Uh, tiaras or Gold Pins, whatever you want to do. I'll just use Elixirs in the middle of battle. Uh, I would recommend Aegis Shields to protect against Stone. Uh, boost elemental damage, exactly how we've been equipped for a while. Uh, do note the uh, Maneater Knife is a... Technically, it does additional damage to uh, human-type enemies, and I guess X-Death is a tree, but he's also human, so it will uh, critical all the time against, uh, against X-Death as well, so that'll be useful there. I'm not sure what'll do more, the Chicken Knife or the... Uh, or the Maneater Knife, I would guess the Chicken Knife still does a little bit more, so I'm going to leave that in there, but uh, we'll see when we actually get in the fight there. But yeah, that's pretty much uh, my setup for now, pretty much the same as it was before. But next time, we will be taking on X-Death, and it will be a long multi-parter because there's a lot to show off. Anyway, that's all for this one, and I'll see you guys next time.